Hi everyone, C. Ray Morris here with the second vlog of 2016 uh, in my year-long vlogging experiment. <laughs> um, and if you saw the first one, you know that I just moved and I've been carrying around a lot of stuff and I'm just like, okay, well, if I'm going to keep carrying around this stuff, I should use it, you know, it shouldn't just sit in my closet or just, you know, just be something for display or whatever. I should really just kind of, I just want to like engage with the media that I consume a little better. And so this month I was doing vinyl and I really liked it. I found myself listening to it a lot when I was doing like mundane tasks around the around the apartment. Uh, it helped again because I just moved. So it helped like when I was putting my place together and putting up posters on the wall and stuff like that. It really helped, you know, kind of make it more fun. And, and uh, you know, when you're flipping the record, you know, you're kind of paying attention to the music, I think a little bit more. Um, I noticed I didn't obviously listen to it when I was like working or writing or like editing podcasts and stuff. Um, so it wasn't so great for that, but um, we kind of have to constantly start and stop. Um, but no, I, I listen to a lot of things. I listen to kind of like a healthy mix of like old and new records. Like uh, I listen to you know some Johnny Mathis and the Carpenters and Bob Dylan and Paul Simon and stuff, Fleetwood Mac. But then also listen to a lot of my new stuff like uh, Joanna Newsom and How to Dress Well, uh, The Elected and um, Jenny Lewis and stuff like that. So it was cool. Um, and I actually got, <laughs> I used it as an excuse to buy two vinyl this month. The first one is um, actually a seven inch. It's a comedian Paige Weldon, um, and it's released through Jonah Ray's literally figurative records. And it was really cool. It was like stand-up comedy on vinyl and Paige Weldon is hilarious. And so it was really cool just to get like a little, um, I mean, obviously it's like stand-up comedy uh, a set. So you get a lot, you know, you get a lot on it. Um, but it's really cool because I really like the stand-up comedy uh, you know, community in LA and uh, I write for Comedy Cake and written for Yale LA Magazine and stuff. So I don't know, it's just like a cool little like, you know, um, just piece of history that I think well, people are gonna look at later and be like, oh, that was so cool. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Paige Walden on uh, Jonah Ray's uh, literally figurative records. Um, I'll put a link to it uh, so you can get it. And then the second vinyl I got was Vanessa Carlton's fantastic 2015 album, uh, Lieberman. And, uh, you know, if you haven't been keeping up to date with Vanessa Carlton, she's going through like a really amazing artistic renaissance right now, um, I think. And uh, this record's really great. And her last record, Rabbits on the Run, is great. Um, and I actually saw her at the Roxy this month. And that was cool. I haven't been to a concert in a long time, a music concert in a long time. And this vinyl is uh, clear. So that's kind of cool. One thing I noticed is that because my speakers and my record player are old, um, I... Uh, you know, they're kind of finicky and stuff. And I was like on the fence of, well, do I buy new speakers because I'm listening to vinyl this much? And I think ultimately it's like, I know I'm gonna keep listening to vinyl, but I don't listen to it enough to really want to buy a whole new thing. And a lot of cool things were happening this month in, uh, you know, in the first month of 2016, I started contributing to Geek and Sundry, um, which was really awesome. I'll put a link to those articles and you can check it out. I, uh, there was the, uh, you know, X-Files is back. Uh, as of this, the, uh, you know, the third episode is premiering um, soon. And uh, there were a com comedian Kumail Nanjiani who has X-Files Files podcast, uh, did an X-Files marathon this month at CineFamily. And uh, since I'm a podcast producer, uh, they needed a little extra hands. So um, I got to record some of that day, some interviews with um, Darren Morgan and Chris Carter and stuff. So that'll be out soon. Um, the first one is up, which uh, I didn't record, but um, you should go listen to it anyway, because it's great. Uh, Glenn Morgan's awesome. And uh, yeah, that was a really fun event. It was a fun event to be part of. Um, I've been obsessed with X-Files um, in the last couple of years because of uh, Kumail's podcast. It really got me back into the show. So it was kind of a really, it was a really great thing to be part of. And so I'm glad uh, people are going to be able to hear it. So uh, I also did see, as I mentioned before, I saw Vanessa Carlton and she was fantastic. Um, and then I also saw Jenny Lewis uh, at this really rad church uh, in Koreatown and uh, it was the 10 year anniversary of Rabbit Fur Coat um, which is uh, her fantastic first solo album and so the Watson twins came out she even like wore the same dress and played the whole album in a row and uh, Jane Lewis is one of my favorite songwriters so it was super rad to like see her live because I never saw Rilo Kylie um, so uh, seeing her solo is like really great too and she even did play a Rilo Kylie song so I'm very happy about that. So the last part of this video is what's on my plate for this month? Well, I was thinking about, you know, indulging in a couple other different things. I've got, you know, a 3DS that I barely play that I really want to, you know, jump back into and, you know, board games or catching up on some books and things like that. But every February is the RPM challenge, which is 
uh, you create uh, an album of music in a month. And I did it in 2014 for my music project, thank goodness. And I've kind of had a record sitting around, kind of demoed out for at least a few years. And uh, I feel like now's the time to do it. So this month, uh, I'm going to be indulging in that. So I'm going to be creating a record. Um, you know, not from scratch, I'm kind of, you know, altering the rules a little bit, but you know, that's what those challenges are for, like NaNoWriMo and, uh, you know, Hourly Comics Day or things like that. Like, it's really just about making those challenges work for you and, you know, bringing out your creativity and sharing it and all that stuff. So um, I'm gonna do like a modified RPM where I'm gonna take all these demos that I've written for this record and, you know, just record and yeah, that's gonna be my month. It's gonna be, it should be interesting. So that's it, that's the video. How's your uh, 2016 going? Did you have a good January? Did you kick ass at your news resolutions or are you already off the wagon? Um, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, that's about it. Um, as always, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Stephen Ray Morris. Put links to stuff below. Subscribe to this channel. I do other, you know, stuff. <laughs> stuff. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys in March. Thanks.